What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's Tuesday, which means it's time for the weekly reset, so let's go over the new milestones for this week as well as the gear that is available. Real quick, the Iron Banner does return for Season 1. This is the second time that the Iron Banner is actually here, and even though Season 2 is coming soon, we will still be able to get uh, Season 1 gear if you guys do not already have it in Season 2. So, for the milestones... We have Flashpoint on IO, which complete public events on IO. If you do do heroic versions, then you can complete that a lot faster. Then we have the Nightfall, which complete the weekly Nightfall Strike. This week's Nightfall is the Paramidian. Modifiers on that are Torrent and Time Warp Zero Hour. And we have 21 minutes and 58 seconds to complete that. Then we have your daily uh, milestone, which is the Iron Banner, which you need to complete three challenges in the Iron Banner. Then we have Call to Arms. Win glory by participating in crucible matches, clan XP, uh, earn clan XP in strikes, raids, the crucible, or world activities, and then we have the Leviathan, which you need to defy the Cabal Emperor in the Leviathan raid, as well as this week's um, challenge mode is Callus, so definitely prepare for that. Now, looking at the uh, Nightfall real quick, as I said, we do have... Uh, torrent as well as Time Warp Zero Hour, Torrent reads Boundless, Power erupts from within, your abilities recharge much faster, use them to shatter your foes, which means you'll get your uh, all your abilities a lot faster, pretty much. And then we have Time Warp Zero Hour, which is, means that the mission timer cannot be extended. Choose your balance carefully. As for our good old buddy Tess Everest, her stock has changed as well. Good to see you, Guardian. As for the emotes, we have the uh, get up emote. As well as the spicy ramen emote. Then we have the Dinas Emerus. Pretty cool looking speeder with a dragon on it. Imprint, Symmetry Flight, which is pretty much the one I'm using right now. Then we have the Symbiosis Ornament for the Sturm, as well as the Tesla's Revenge for the Wordcliffe Coil, aka Dubious Volley. Helmet. Uh, we <laughs> Armor of the Week is the Helmet. We have the Hood of Optimacy. Then we have the Heraldic Shell for your Ghost. As well as the Hunter Shell. For Shaders, we have the Fermius Blue. Xeno Silver. And last but not least, Bumblebee. And then you guys can buy your uh, Fire Team Medallion if you would like. Don't forget to go visit Cade 6 in order to get your treasure maps. This week's treasure maps will be on IO. And there's only three here for me because I probably have the other ones. EDZ, 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 and two IOs. Yeah. I still haven't done these. I just haven't come to terms with my life and wanting to actually go out and get these for a chance to get an exotic. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.